But then there's the agencies representing the talent, and the various guilds representing the writers, directors, and producers, and they are in league with each other. The agents and the guilds make up the establishment of the movie and TV industry. They're also the gatekeepers of it, as no one can really do anything without their involvement. And as an artist, you can't really get anywhere without their affiliation and the costs that go with that. Now, it's not for me to say whether or not that is good or bad. Cases can be made for both points of view. But for the purposes of this discussion, there you have a swamp that will resist anything that can threaten their power. Principal Skinner is an old man who lives at the school. Now, it's not for me to say whether or not that is good or bad. There you have a swamp. Now, it's not for me to say whether or not that is good or bad. There you have a swamp. Teacher made me go to Principal Skinner's office when I was dirty. This was made apparent from Deadline Hollywood's hit piece on AT&T, the one headlined by Christopher Nolan trashing HBO Max. But much more interestingly than Nolan's choice of words, that article revealed that all the agents and lawyers and guilds, everyone whose business is built around the current model, are up in arms. One particularly telling segment from that article reads, One prominent agent notes that the top executives at Warner Media and its parent, AT&T CEO John Stanky, Warner Media CEO Jason Kilar, and of course Sarnoff, don't understand the movie business, and they don't understand talent relations. While Kilar pays what is seen as lip service to movies. Industry veterans say Warners is sacrificing the huge profit that comes from selling movies in multiple formats and on multiple platforms around the world. Even before Warners made its play, there was grumbling among agents that Sarnoff, who has been on the job for more than a year, had yet to get acquainted with key players on the film side or make much of an impression at all. That, of course, is Hollywood speak, written by an entertainment journalist quoting an entertainment incumbent, addressing other incumbents. When I grow up, I want to be a principal or a caterpillar. I love you, Principal Skinner. Now, it's not for me to say whether or not that is good or bad. Now, it's not for me to say whether or not that is good or bad. Now, it's not for me to say whether or not that is good or bad. Me fail English? That's impossible. Television has changed this completely, and uh, I think that despite the unhappy financial upheaval that it has caused in the movie industry, it has also provided a very invigorating and stimulating challenge which has made it necessary for films to be made with more sincerity and more daring. So I just watched a video from Midnight's Edge, and uh, I want to explain something to these nerds. Geeks are one thing, but these people are clearly nerds. Social, normal people like to go to the movie theater. We don't want our movie theaters to shut down and everything be on streaming. We do like streaming, and great things are happening there. True, but we don't want to stop going to the movie theater. This is a very bad event that is occurring if Warner Brothers leads the charge to destroying them. Uh, I want you to consider the possibility that people socializing and sitting in a room full of other people in a community and experiencing a show together may have some intrinsic value. I know there's corruption in Hollywood, and I know there's social justice that's all over the place there. I, I know that. But I want to point out, it's also in the streaming business. It's everywhere in the streaming business. So destroying theaters will not eradicate it. It will still be there. You've done nothing to change it. Anyways, you know, Midnight says, get your shit together. I'm a unitard! Uh, it's not that your friend is bad, it's, it's that she's so bad, she makes me want to put my finger through my eye, into my brain, and swirl it around. Why do people run from me?